Helen's House is really cool. It's uh, a product of Brooks Rehabilitation. At some point, our uh, crowdsourcing uh, opportunity at Brooks that they do every two years uh, brought forth the concept of why don't we have something like Ronald McDonald House. So think of crowdsourcing as a high-tech suggestion box. Now from this idea, the original concept was formed to allow only families outside the surrounding five counties of Northeast Florida to stay in a subsidized reduced rate room. It would allow them to walk or take a shuttle across the street to support family members in Brooks Rehab. It has since evolved. Helen's house manager Ken Rudd explains. We found that we also had people coming in from all over the world. Uh, we currently have guests from Austria, Argentina, Honduras, South Florida, Southern California, Northern Maine. The house is named after Helen Brown. She was Dr. Brooks Brown's wife, and uh, Helen was famous as a, uh, a person, as an individual, not just as a doctor's wife, but in her own right. She was famous uh, for hospitality. She loved to do things for people, entertain, cook. Uh, I learned from her when I was a nurse across the street. She asked me if I knew what hospitality meant. And I had to say, no, ma'am, I don't. She said it means love of strangers. And she felt like that's what Brooks was, that it was a welcoming place uh, for strangers from everywhere that needed the services that Brooks offered. They have a focused idea of how residents could interact. The effect, subconsciously supporting and connecting with each other. First of all, there's no TVs in the rooms. There's, uh, in Helen's house, we have five living rooms where everybody gathers together at the end of a long day and they enjoy watching TV or telling uh, events of the day or reading a book, but in a community setting, in a setting of support. Uh, all the meals, everybody eats together in a big gourmet dining room that you saw in the big, huge, cool gourmet kitchen. And then we also have uh, community supporters, corporations in Jacksonville that uh, come in and they do the cooking and they'll feed the 40 or 50 people that are here um, and they get to know the guest the guests get to tell stories. Hi, how are you? Where are you from? And so it truly does create this family atmosphere. Daniel Mowry survived a major motorcycle crash in November. He and his mom have been at Helen's house the past three months. He talks about the support he's received there. I mean, I have Ken, I have um, anybody, anybody who works here. Cody, they're all asking me about my progress. They're seeing the progress. They're, like you said, they're an extensive, extensive group that it's not over there that are over here that are, you know, rooting for you. They're in your, they're in your corner, so. Daniel's mom, Michelle, shares her experience with support from other families at Helen's house. Turned into a really big family. Everyone cared about everyone, and we would have dinners together. If someone didn't have something, there was somebody that always lent something out to you. Somebody will offer food, or there's a cabinet um, in the kitchen that, has food that people have donated, and that's so heartfelt for me. Makes me want to cry um, because to know the support is here is just amazing. The, my favorite part actually is uh, once a week um, they try and gather everyone together in the kitchen, and it's just such a family. And to know that everyone on the outside. Um, from the different organizations, whether it be the fire department, the other Brooks uh, units, they all just come together and cook for us. And you don't have to worry about what am I eating this today. We got a shower chair here and the bathrooms were able, and I was so fearful because I've never been able to get them in a shower chair and give them a shower. I didn't know what I was doing. I was so afraid. And one of the other mothers said, I'm here for you. Come on, let's go give them a shower. And it was so, I was nervous, but yeah, I knew I had support, and I don't think I'd have that if I was out there. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. Helen's